be a great pleasure and it is my honor to welcome you to this 100th anniversary celebration of the signing of the Armistice, which effectively ended the Great War as it was known back then. World War I remains a marginal war for many in America. Americans remember the Revolutionary War, the Civil War, World War II, Vietnam, for vastly different reasons. But many of our nation's military conflicts are placed on the shelf of history just to gather dust or be studied by military historians. But in Jonesboro, World War I, or the Great War as it was known, was remembered, and just as we are remembering it today. Today we celebrate the 100th anniversary of the signing of the armistice and the cessation of hostilities between Germany and the Allies that eventually led to the Treaty of Versailles that officially ended the Great War, the war to end all wars. While we ring the bells at an international, if not global, remembrance of the centenary armistice that led to the ending of World War I and the peace that ensued, we should ever be mindful of the reality of how fragile peace really is and to retain our ability to be prepared to enforce it. May God bless America and those who have sacrificed to defend her past and present.